Howdy, here we are again, another video, video 11. Uh, today I want to explain why we specialize in floor work. Floor work is virtually useless in a crime situation if you have more than one attacker. So we, we must actually uh, have the ability to move around, uh, size up your situation, you must undo haste, uh, you must remember to take control of your mindset, vanquish fear and panic, improvise, uh, value your life and of those who deserve it. Uh, act as if you're in control and then live strategically is obviously the umbrella that we put over everything there. Now, the reason we specialize in floor work is so that I can teach my students how not to go there. If you're in a cage fight or in a competition, it's no problem. The ref won't attack you, well, hopefully. But in a crime situation, your back is all the time turned towards your opponents, the majority of them. If you go into a submission, they're going to kick you to death there. So if um, I go for Bettina's leg, she can take me in a half Nelson, she can uh, do a arm bar on me, she can flip me around, do a sleeper on me. But the fact is, my buddies, if it's a crime situation, will obviously hurt her or kill her there. Another thing, as I've said before, that you must keep in mind the techniques don't necessarily work the way they work in the dojo because they will work in relation to the aggression, the strength, the skill of your opponent. So it is better to remain standing so that you can retreat, move around and escape if whenever you get the chance. So when I go for a leg, she's going to push down, get her feet out of the way so that they can't get hold of her feet, going to push down and with the elbow strike, the hitching strike on the vertebra, right on the spine, right there, as hard as possible, not only once, more than once, right, so if I go for the, for the legs, it's going to push down and strike, right there. If the first one should get all of the legs, it's going to hit the second one, not the third one, then she's going to hit, do a shin kick into the face, and if that's, if that person is still holding one, you kick as hard as, as much as you like, hit again with that elbow, but make sure that you don't form some sort of a routine there. And then you retreat, shake yourself out of that grip, retreat, spin around, view your observation. Right, let's just check that again. Uh, go for the leg. Strike one. Strike two. Kick. Retreat. View your observation. Make sure that you move as far as possible away from that one person. If there are three people around you and after hitting the one, you move two, three meters away while you spin, doing your observations, you're actually manipulating them because they must follow you. Keep it up. Cheers.